Hey everybody, this is Matt with Mikey Designs and Silkscreen, and I'm going to do a quick little tutorial. Um, I'm helping out Will Smith. He has a t-shirt design that he wants to print for his band, and he had a question about how to separate it. And it, this is for, it's a t-shirt for his band, and he wants to print it himself on a four-color press. And so I'm going to quickly run through how to do that, or how I would go about doing it. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop right now, and I'm going to open up the image that Will sent me. And here it is on my desktop. That's taking my computer a second here. It's been on for a while, and... got a lot of <laughs> programs running open up okay here we are here's the image as you can see this this looks like it would go on a black t-shirt that's what I would put it on so um, let's make sure okay it's in RGB mode and let's check out our image size I'm gonna hit command option I or you can go to image and size I like to do keyboard shortcuts because it makes things quicker and so it looks like it's about seven inches wide by eight inches high we're gonna res this up to 12 inches normally you don't want to res up but um, I imagine this is what we have to work with and so I'm gonna go with 12 inches uh, let's see Let's see what size we come to. Nah, I, I guess it just depends on what size Will's uh, flash is. If you have a 16 by 16 flash, I would go with 12 inches high. If you have a, a flash that's bigger than that, I'd go with 14 inches. Um, I have a flash bigger than that, so I'm just gonna put 14 inches in there. And now that we've enlarged it a little bit, I'm gonna go to um, sharpen and do an unsharp mask, just to kind of bring back some of the sharpness that was lost, um, resing the image up, which again really isn't a good thing, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, now we're gonna hit Command Shift S and we're gonna save this as. Here's uh, how you save it as. And we're going to call this Indigo Way Band. And we're going to save this as a TIFF. We're going to keep it in RGB uh, mode. And we're going to save this to the desktop. Normally I would put these things in a job folder. But since this is just a quick tutorial for Will, we don't need to create a job folder. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up that TIFF file. I'm going to go to my desktop where the file is at and open up my TIFF. Now keep in mind that this will be printed on a four color press, so we have to minimize this to the four colors. And what I'm using right now is Separation Studio. I like to use Separation Studio when printing um, images onto dark garments with you know different gradients if it's photorealistic like this then that's what I would use I wouldn't use I mean you could use four color process with uh, a white under base but you're gonna get better results um, using this program um, in most cases not all cases sometimes white under base under CMYK uh, will work better than this but um, so looking at this we've, we've got white uh, there's a little bit of red a lot of blue some yellow doesn't look like any purple or any green no turquoise and there's what would be gray and a white highlight color 
what we're going to do is we're going to combine the white top and the gray uh, down into our, our under base because we only have four colors to work with. So we're going to go to channels and we're going to merge our gray. And there was nothing in the purple. So we can just go ahead and hit merge purple. And there was nothing in the turquoise. We're going to go ahead and just hit merge just in case there's something on those layers. I didn't see anything or on that specific spot color channel. So we've got it down to six colors so far. The green doesn't look like anything's there. I'm going to right click on it and I'm just going to delete the channel. Okay, so now we got five colors. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to merge the white top to the under base. And how we're going to do that is we're going to go to channels, apply, and we're selecting the white top because that's where our source is coming from. And we're going to apply that to our under base. We're going to hit multiply. And we're going to hit OK. You can see that brightens it up a little bit. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to delete the white top. And you can see that we lost some of the brightness. I'm going to hit Command Z, which is undo, so you can kind of see where we should be. I'm going to hit Command Shift Z to go right back to where we are at. And I'm going to right click on the underbase channel and um, I'm going to adjust the channel to bring some of that brightness back. And in order to have some sort of basis of comparison, I'm going to pull this image up. And so we're just going to add a little more white in there. And if you see if you go really extreme what it's doing. But we don't want all that. We're just trying to get a little closer to the image right next to it. And that's looking pretty good. One of the things I like to check for is, is to make sure the white is 100% up here on your under base. Um, if it isn't, let's say for instance, um, if it's reading 95%, what you want to do is right click and hit adjust channel and pull this up about five to six percent and then you'll get your 100 percent but looks like we got a nice bright white here and we got it down to four colors we got our white under base our red blue and our yellow so i'm going to go ahead and save this as an eps and we're going to go to our desktop here Indigo Wave Bands, how we're going to save it. And it is saving. <laughs> okay, so next thing we're going to do is go to Illustrator, open up our t shirt registration template, which you can get for free from www.mikeydesigns.com. You'll see a little link up there at the top of my website. So I'm going to go to my art layer and I'm going to go to file in place go to my desktop get my EPS file and it's pulling it in all the spot colors now I got the, once I've got the image brought in I'm going to select keep my image selected and I'm going to go to line artboard and I'm just going to center it onto my artboard now we're going to hit Command-P, which is print, go to our output, and you'll see that all we have is our uh, white under base, our red, blue, and gold. And you're going to want to print it in this exact order, one, two, three, four. You can kind of experiment around a little bit, but I would suggest uh, initially starting off with the order that they uh, that the program sets her out, excuse me, sep separates it out in. Need to eat some cantaloupe today or something. And so that's about it. You would hit print, and um, 
I would use 230 mesh, maybe even a 200 mesh for the, the under base, but I would stick with 230 mesh across the board and print it either at 42 DPI or 45 DPI, um, which an AccuRip, you can go to uh, your setup here and I'll show you real quick. I'm going to go to setup and make sure a lot of times I like to do 42 DPI, still get great quality. And I like to use ellipse. Round's a pretty good one too, but um, I think I'm able to, to hold the ellipse and get more detail. Well, that's it. Um, next thing we do is just hit print and then you've got your, um, your film that would come out and just make sure your page information is selected so that way it'll tell you what colors at the, uh, uh, it'll leave that information at the top of the, the film. And then just expose your images into your screen and set it up. See how it works out for you. I hope this helped, Will. Um, email me, let me know if you have any questions and uh, y'all have a good one.